Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write decimals in word form, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, when it comes to decimal word form, it's very important to think first name, last name. Now, we use that same hint or thought process when we wrote whole numbers in word form. It's going to look a little bit different when it comes to decimals, but it's going to be very helpful. So let's jump into number one here where we actually have two examples. We have this first number here and then the second one here. Now those may look very similar, but they're actually, um, they're going to be different as far as the word form goes and how you say those decimals. They are not the same. So let's use the place value chart at the top of your screen in order to break these numbers down and see what the word forms are going to be. So the first one, we do not have a whole number. So we have a zero, we have a seven in the tenths, and a five in the hundredths. The second one, we do not have a whole number. We have a zero in the tenths, a seven in the hundredths, and a five in the thousandths. So let's write the first one in word form. So this top one here. So we need to think first name, last name. Now when it comes to first name, we just need to say this number as is. So that's a 75. So that's going to be the first name, 75. Now the last name is going to be wherever that decimal ends, so the place it ends. And in the case of the top one, it ends in the hundredths place. So that's the last name. First name 75, last name hundredths. And that's how you say that decimal, and therefore what you write down, and you have word form, so 75 hundredths. The bottom example, it's actually going to have the same exact first name. Read this number as is. We have a 75. So 75. Now the last name is going to be different because the bottom one ends in the thousandths place. So that's going to be 75 thousandths. All right, on to number two. So first name, read this number as is, and that's just a nine. Last name, where does that decimal end? It ends in the tenths place. So you would say that nine tenths. Now number three and four, we have whole numbers. So there's going to be a very important word that represents that decimal within our word form. So read the whole number as is, um, so we have a 15, that's what we're going to start with. I'm actually going to section this off. So we'll start with 15. Now when we see this decimal, we need to put the word and. So 15 and, that separates our whole number uh, portion from the decimal portion. Then we just apply the first name, last name. So read this number as is, 40. Two. And the last name, wherever that decimal ends, and in this case it ends in the hundredths place, so we have 15 and 42 hundredths. Lastly, number four, so we'll start with the whole number, read it as is, three. And remember, the very important word to represent that decimal is and. So three and, let's read this number as is for the first name. So 207, 207, that's the first name. And the last name is where that decimal ends. So what place does that seven sit in? Well, it ends in the thousandths. So let's wrap up number three here with thousandths. So we would read that number three and 207 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you write decimals in word form. Remember, first name, last name. Read the number as is that comes after the decimal. That's the first name. And the last name is going to be wherever that decimal ends. And when we have whole numbers mixed with decimals, you read the whole number, 
write the word and to represent the decimal, and then wrap it up with naming the decimal portion. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.